Hey y'all, welcome to Farm Sim 2015. We are on Landy Kids official server multiplayer. Um, he just recently uh, got all this set up. It's a dedicated server. Uh, we got a team speak. I am here today playing with Raven. Um, he's also known as Sam Thomas 31. Uh, he has some great videos. Uh, check them out. Uh, um, he's got some great tutorials on course play and different ones, mod sites, uh, you can go to my channel page and uh, he'll be up to the right. You can check on him, check out Landy Kid and Rubber Side Down also. Alright, uh, let's go find Mr. Raven, that's his uh, in-game name, and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do today. Um, actually we were working on, yes, last night, uh, bailing. You said, uh, I remember hearing you and Landy Tick Kid talking about, uh, the bales were in rough shape? Uh, I actually fixed it last night, I stacked them all nice. But there's a lot of bales on this, uh, field over here. There's Do we? Like, huh? Do we have an uh, auto uh, stacker? I don't think we got that yet. So we gotta do this manual. I don't know if I wanna do this. You can always harvest a couple of those fields. I think they're ready. I see he's got these ready to go on the uh, trailer here. Oh, this yeah, is hay. Yeah, he got the front loaders down over here. Or, I mean, the uh, Tedley handler. This field was mowed twice. Somebody was in here. So there was a lot of bales. Yeah, and we need those for the cows. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get these picked up. And, uh, if it's alright with you, that way you can get that mixed in with your silage. Or has that uh, been done yet? Yeah, me and Landy Kid did it one night, a couple nights ago. Let me look at the uh, animal hood. Yeah, they got plenty. They got like 20,000. Oh uh, yeah, and let me say, uh, Landy Kid, uh, we're on his uh, dedicated server. Uh, be sure to uh, check out his videos because he's going to release some information in regards to that. And uh, his team speak here soon, so keep an open for Landy Kid. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to have on his Facebook the uh, IP for the uh, team speak. Oh, these are actually great, great, uh, A, A bales. The other ones I got the other day were kind of like B. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder how, how it judges that. Moisture in the air. Like if it's cloudy and you do it, I guess there's a little bit more moisture. And if you bale them and cut it, like during the early mornings and evenings. Yeah, this one says humidity, 12.5%. Yeah. Grade A. Ah, oh, it tells you what it's worth, too. $1,717. Uh, that's a little bit expensive for a bell of hay, ain't it? Yeah. I was just figuring more like, uh, what about a bell that size? Maybe, I don't know, five bucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in real life, probably. Yeah, I think that would break the bank on, uh, on, uh, guy with some horses or cows. Alright, so, yeah, uh, we can either harvest the field, we can get these up, uh, it doesn't matter to me. My, uh, I can tell us a little stop and go, uh, here, it's, uh, probably gonna stay like this for a while hopefully don't get worse but it's a whole lot better than I have been in some multiplayer servers yeah so what do you want to you want to load the bills or um so maybe we can swap off we'll see how it, does, see how it goes uh, somebody uh, can be loading them on a trailer and then uh, somebody can be bringing them up here staging them we can actually uh, both load. There's uh, 
the front loader. I can bring that over. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we'll uh, yeah, we can get, get that knocked out. I'm not that good with the tele handler. Yeah, me neither. I'm not good with any of it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. If it gets too hectic and we mess up too much, we'll just go harvest the field. <laughs> yeah. I'm running it at uh, about between 55 and 60 uh, MS right now. Yeah, I'm about 40, 30. Towards the end last night was really bad. I was jumping up 300 and my uh, character was coming out of the vehicle spinning around it. It was really bad. So do you know the precise amounts of these to make uh, mixed rations? Because I sure don't. I'm sure some people don't either. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I know uh, we had the pull behind models for the feeder um, feed mix. Uh, me and Recon done uh, feed in the, the self-propelled version. Um, and I just put in one bell of hay, one bell of straw, and then silage, and it, it was right. Mm. But that's uh, that machine you got's a different size. You just have to make sure each bar is blue. If each bar is blue and somewhere in between the two lines, you should be good. I think it was roughly two hay, one straw, and the rest silage. I'll try to stack these up in twos for you. Yeah guys, I'm sure you probably never seen me bail, so this is the first time you guys have seen me bail much stuff or actually use the front loader. Don't have a lot of practice in this. actually not that bad in FS15 you know, FS13 was really bad this, this is what uh, I don't like about it the top bale is getting stuck on something that's not there and it's moving with a mind of its own that's weird you only do that and you can uh, stack them over here with the front loader well, I got that one. They just had to be be careful. Yeah. Yeah, let me show you guys what equipment we got here. Yeah, this is pretty much what we got here. Factor wise. Not too much. There's not a lot of mods in here either compared to like my stuff.
Yeah, one of these days we'll get some uh, AZ videos for you guys because I mean Deputy P play a lot of that. But by the time there's action going on, we forget to hit record. This is a pretty nice field of grass here. It is a good size. Do you still have your push to talk on? I do. I'm in a vehicle now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. If y'all was wondering why I was doing all that squatting running across the field, that's why I pushed the talk as a squat button. Uh, I thought you were probably talking in your, uh, your own video there. Yeah, I kind of paused mine and jumped out and uh, reset it to uh, voice activation. I think you always use pussy talk, don't you? Yeah, I have to with this headset. It yeah. doesn't work all that great. Is that the new one or the one you fixed? That's the new one. It's just uh, cheaper to get me by for a little while. Did you order it or did you uh, buy it in the store? Walmart special. Mm. This one I got was pretty nice. I only paid $18 for it. Yeah, I got it on Amazon. I think this one was like $9.99. Uh, what brand is it? Logitech. Yeah, that's, that's my old one. They're pretty good headsets. Yeah, they they serve the purpose. Um, I do miss my Turtle Beaches. Though. Oh yeah, Turtle Beach is always good for audio, audio stuff. Is that the one you were trying to solder? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Got some stacks going. Swatch behind you. Put them right behind you. Yeah, I don't mind doing bailing, loading them up, but then you gotta unload them. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to get the uh, auto what? stacker. Yes, and we'll, we'll leave the unloading to landing. <laughs> 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 or Anthony won. Oh, Anthony messed them up, so I think he's getting uh, banned from stacking them. I don't know, I'm not doing too good over here. I'm taking forever. You're actually doing pretty good. I just got. Let me put this over here so. I'm... Put him a little bit further back. Yeah, didn't you say Recon likes to do this? No, but uh, I did get him one time. We was on a multiplayer server. And uh, he had just stacked a whole trailer load, and I took the, uh, the Dodge and rammed the side of it and scattered them all over the place. Yeah, he was <laughs> mad at me. See, I think uh, that would actually piss me off. You can kill me in Daisy, I'll be okay, but if I think if you messed up my trailer of uh, Bells, I think I would be pretty pissed. <laughs> You're gonna have to take a little bit of something to here and there. Uh, Recon went into Lazler's uh, multiplayer and uh, cut down I don't know how many trees, and they didn't. He didn't cut them to where they would, would fall. He left them standing. So if you come by and tapped it with a truck or something. Yeah. They would fall over. Yes, he he found trees for weeks. 
<laughs> they just went through the, through the mat with the chainsaw and cut yeah, a mess of them. That's what made him do that, up. I do not know. Good thing about the tele hunter, you can actually do that in first person. Um, front loader is just a little bit harder. The tele handle takes a little bit longer. You might look around for a, a bell fork for the front loader that can uh, do two at a time. I can kind of do two, but you gotta be go really slow. Auto stacker all the way. Yeah, I'm all about the auto stacker stuff. I actually got quite a few mods that um, will pick up bales. I got two that actually do uh, round bales. They're pretty nice. But yeah, the auto stacker is a good uh, one in a uh, stock game. We'll definitely get that. They used to have and uh, FS13, these scripted ones, they're just like the regular flat uh, bales, uh, bale trailers. They have a script in it so that when you drive by, it'll automatically pick them up and put them in there for you. And then you can on stack them. I forgot what that was called. Not realistic, but kind of good for single player when you're doing this all by yourself because it's very time consuming let's see how much bottle stacker costs forty five thousand that's not bad Turning the HUD off helps a little bit too. I think this is the last one. trailer we got home what um, yeah the trailer looks a little bit short to take a full I got them stacked halfway tight there's a little space here and there but uh, I'm not having enough room for another stack on the back yeah they only take three I think We'll just park it over there by the barn and unload it later. Somebody will probably unload it. Yeah, I'm going to try to get all these on here if I can. I just stack them up four high. That'll make it easier on oh, unloading. Yeah, it, all right. 
I reckon it'll make it easier on Hopefully it'll ride that way. Um, hopefully I can stack it halfway straight. Yeah, those barrels should be okay. I just have to go really slow. See that top bell just got hung on something that wasn't there. Here, I can grab that one, put it on there. If you want, I can work off one side of the trailer and you work off the other. Oh, well, no, you can't raise it, raise that high, can you? No, I could probably go... Well, maybe I can. I'll try it. I'll just, I'll try one, see if I can do it. This guy here picked up. There we go. Two more off on the ground. Yeah, I saw that. It just looked like it just flew off, like lag or something. Okay, that's how you turn over the bell you've turned over. Get this lined up good. Yeah, with these, I kind of built it down a little bit and it's easy to pull out. So if you guys are having problems, I think the uh, telehander forks come out really good. The uh, front loaders take a little bit to get them out. Let's see if I can handle two of these. I would normally do this in first person if I was in tele underwear, but the view on this is really bad in uh, front loader. Yeah, I've got to do it in third. I go really slow with this. Got to keep it tilted back a little bit. Go slow. Just tap the uh, gas. Probably gonna come off anyways. <laughs> I still have to line her up. It's possible though. <laughs> oh man, this is. Uh, I should have got that one. Oh, almost tilted it the wrong way. It barely goes over.
There she goes. Let me fix this guy on the back here. My blades or my uh, belt forks uh, doing some rubber banding. Yeah, this takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> I'm just trying to get them all uh, lined up a little bit so when it's driving down the road, they don't, doesn't go all over the place. Yeah, they're probably all going to fall over as soon as we take off. Yeah. So who's going to drive it? I don't care. Leave it here for the next one to get so we can blame it on them. Oh no, because then we're all, oh, almost backed up into you. I'm gonna get these. And get out of the way. Well, let's try this one more time with this uh, double stack here. I'll do it quicker now and see what the limitations are on this. Probably going to go all over the place. You know, they should have implemented some sort of straps you can actually do or something. At least auto lock them. Lock the load. Simulate some sort of straps. But I think, do they, I don't know if they do that in real life. Uh, they do. Yeah, it's, I'm not sure. Um, I reckon if there's a wrist of them falling off, they would. actually helped with that a couple times, but uh, I can't remember if he strapped them down before he moved the trailer or not. Um, well, actually, no, I didn't because uh, I pulled the trailer while he uh, walked beside and threw the bells up on it. Alrighty, that's a good stack right there. All right, let me move this guy. I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to go. Probably a loop around. We don't have far to go. Yeah, if that will ride, I'm not too ashamed of that. I think we've done a good job as long as it stays. Turn my hood on. Turn my uh, cruise control down just in case if I have to use it. Yep, I'm gonna follow behind you because I'm ready. I want to see this. <laughs> I wish I had a front weight on this. Might help a little bit. Slow, slow, slow. I'm a little afraid of this front stack here. It's a little 
Looking good back here. And the cruise oh no, it's starting to look terrible. <laughs> Is it? I reckon it's okay right now. <laughs> Turn this guy way down. It's definitely not as straight as it was. But she's riding. Once I get it straight, we'll just go cruise it. Dear. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not as pretty as it was. It never was pretty, but it was close. Now it just looks like a bunch of mess. <laughs> but as long as it stays on the trailer, I'll be happy. I think everybody's saying right now, ram the trailer, ram the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all want to see me ram the trailer? Oh my god, it's it's falling. Oh my god, this looks keep awful. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, it's gonna. Be, oh, well, at least they'll fall in the sh the sheep spin. It's gonna ride. You're gonna make it. Don't let it fall until it gets right in front of the barn. Yeah, it's looking really ugly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, uh... That's some bad physics right there. It is. It's uh, definitely not supposed to do that. It seems like the bottom ones are bouncing a lot and creating the ones on top to fall over and get really... Uh, Maybe somebody that can do something about it will be watching these videos and say, Hey, you need to fix that. Or we'll find out why that's happening. Have locking trailers. Yeah. And whatever needs to be done, just do it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think Giants would be watching our videos. Oh my god, you never know. It. Yeah, you never know. That's not too bad. Yep, they can pick them up from here and carry them inside. Good job. They was all nice and straight when we left them, right? Huh? They were all nice and straight when we left them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you didn't see that in a video. Uh, yeah, that video. Don't pay any attention to that video. That's no proof at all. I think that's probably going to be an episode right here. Yep, I think so. That'll be a good our, welcome to the uh, multiplayer server on our end. Our bailing adventure. For you guys that haven't seen me bail. And as of the outcome, that's probably why you probably won't see us do a whole lot more of it. Unless it's with <laughs> Auto Stacker. Oh yeah, our next one's going to be Auto Stacker video. Uh, there was a great demand for something I just saw. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Alright guys.